The object selection tool has gotten a major upgrade. You can now hover over and select any individual body part you want. Now I know what you're thinking, but trust me, I haven't tried that yet. You can also tell Photoshop to select whatever you want. This feature was already there in Lightroom and Camera Raw, and it seems like the Photoshop team and the Lightroom team have started talking to each other again. In this video, we'll learn what this feature is, how to get this update, and how to use this in real-world situations. So without any further ado, let's get started. This new feature right now is only available in Photoshop Beta. To get it, open your Creative Cloud desktop app. Inside of it, go to Apps, Beta at the top, in here, install Photoshop Beta. Right now, I'm on version 26.3. If you're using a Captain Jack Sparrow version, you know your resources. So here we have a lucky guy. Look how happy he is. The way this tool works is you select the Object Selection tool. By the way, if you cannot see the Object Selection tool, right-click on the three dots, click on Edit Toolbar, and check if it is hidden right here. If it is, like this, just drag it and drop it here right in the toolbar and you should be able to see it right here. Now with the tool activated, you'll discover a new button in the options bar and that is select people. Click on it and it has automatically identified all of them. You can click on any one of them to explore more options. If you click here, all of them are now targeted. Let's select the middle guy. In here, you can target different areas like the hair, the glasses, nose, mouth, everything. If you click on show more, you have more options. Let's select the teeth, for example. Click on it and apply it. Now we have a selection of the teeth. Now it's not accurate, it's still in beta. I'm hoping it gets better. Click on the adjustment layer icon and let's choose curves. Maybe I'm gonna make it slightly brighter like that. And there you have a targeted adjustment. Let's try something else. Let's open up select people again. And for this lady right here, let's select the upper t-shirt. Where did that go? I cannot see it. So I'm going to click on show more and see upper clothes and apply. Now we have a selection of a t-shirt. You can create a solid color adjustment layer by clicking on the adjustment layer icon. Choose solid color. Since she is wearing white, we're going to have to pick a color, hit OK and change the blend mode to multiply. And there we have changed the color of her t-shirt. Now this is not a perfect mask but it gives you a fantastic starting point. Now, what you'll also notice is that these options are person specific. So if I select the middle guy right here, there is an option for the beard. If I deselect him and select the lady right here, of course, there is no beard right here. So for different people, you're gonna get different options. As you can notice that there is no bottom half of this photo. So you don't find any pants or any other selection right here. But if you open another example with a full body photo, like so, if you click on select people, by the way, it detected everybody, let's select this guy, you will notice that lower clothes show up. Now, of course, as you hover over these options, it shows you which area is it targeting. Alternatively, you can directly hover over the image. For it, you want to make sure that you go to settings right here, click on the gear icon, make sure object finder is checked, auto refresh is turned on so that every time you make a change, you don't have to refresh it all the time. And now just hover over whatever you want to select, click, and it is selected. Hold the shift key to add to it. I want to select her t-shirt as well. Let's say they're becoming too bright. So you want to create a curves adjustment layer and take the right point down like so and take it down like that maybe. So that's how to hover over. What if you want to select multiple options? Let's say you want to turn all the shoes red for Christmas. For that, let's go to select people. But before that, you want to make sure sample all layers is checked. Otherwise, it won't sample from here. Now, inside of that, if we activate this, everybody is being targeted, right? Now for everybody, if we click on show more options, I want to select the shoes. Where did that go? There it is. Click on shoes. Everybody's shoes are now selected. You can also add to it by also activating, let's say, lower clothes. Now shoes and lower clothes both are targeted, but I don't want to do that. Let's keep shoes for everyone and click on apply. Now it did leave out that shoe, but that's fine create a solid color adjustment layer. Let's pick bright red, hit OK, change the blend mode again to multiply. There we have shoes for Christmas. I know it's not accurate, but now you understand how it works. In case I missed out, you can also select the entire person. So if you go to select people and you wanna select this lady right here, you can click on her, make sure entire person is activated, apply, and all of her 
is selected. The way we can apply this feature in the real world is limitless. Before we talk about a few essential ones, I wanted to quickly share that if you want to master Photoshop the right way, this is the best time to give yourself the gift of creativity as we are running a Christmas sale on Pixinperfect Pro. We have more than 100 lessons, 200 plus practice projects that you can download with everything designed to take you from start to finish and learn Photoshop by understanding the concept so that you never have to memorize the steps. Besides these exclusive courses, whatever I post on YouTube, everything starting December 2024, you get to watch it at Pixinperfect Pro ad-free, high quality, with exclusive downloads like finished PSDs, actions, etc. We also have launched a community feature with Photoshop experts including me if you need a little more help in your Photoshop journey. Check out Pixinperfect Pro only on Pixinperfect.com. Back to the video, now one person is fine, two people are fine. But what if you have a bunch of people? So here we have a photo of a workshop I did with PPNC, professional photographers of North Carolina, big shout out. And let's see if it can detect everyone. If we click on select people, see it has detected 37 people. I cannot see everyone right here, but they are all targeted in some way. If we click on this, let's see who it left out. It left out this gentleman right here. I'm so sorry, this gentleman with beard. But if we hover over it, it's selecting it properly. But apart from that, it's pretty awesome. And even if you hover over it, it can select little details. So if I hover over my facial skin, it selects my facial skin. It selects the beard separately, neck separately. I know it's not accurate. T-shirt separately, which is amazing. I want to make myself stand out a little bit. So I'm going to click here, select the T-shirt, click on the adjustment layer icon, choose hue saturation, select the hand right here, and just click on the T-shirt. I'm going to expand the range a little bit so that all of that color is selected. And then you can modify the color of the t-shirt to whatever you like. So to make yourself stand out, one of the best colors is red. Increase the saturation like this and maybe play with the lightness. There you go. Now I'm standing out as you can see right here. And then you can play with these colors as well. Make myself a little more saturated. Boom. Done. Also, little things like controlling light, like these two amazing artists at the back. We want to brighten them as the light is not falling on them. So again, with the object selection tool, we can just hover over. And even with that, it selected the hands so good. And it's selecting different parts of them. So I just wanted to select the entire person to do that. Just hover a little outside them and click. It does the entire person. If you're a little inside, it will select different parts. If you're a little outside, it will select the entire person. You get that? Hold the shift key to add and then click to add. And then you can create a curves adjustment layer or whatever you use to brighten stuff like so. And there we have some brightness. I know the mask is not perfect, but this is pretty awesome. Maybe we'll do a separate mask for her and brighten her even more, but this is how to work this. Now let's talk about retouching. It's immensely useful there. So in this case, let's say you want to enhance the jewelry. It detects that as accessories. If we click here, if you have a look, accessories, click on it. There we have that activated. Click on apply to make a selection out of it. Now you can create a curves adjustment layer. By now, you know, curves is my favorite. It also detected, as you can see, this area of jewelry right here as well. Anyway, Let's open up the curves properties by clicking here and just enhance the jewelry a bit, just a bit. Apart from that, something else I like to do is to enhance the iris. It automatically detected that I didn't have to go to select people and click on iris and pupil and all of that. It just automatically did that. So I'm going to click right here and then create another curves adjustment layer. This time it's going to be a bit different with the hand selected right here. This area, we're going to bring it up like so. And this area, we're going to bring it down, thus creating some nice contrast. You can do something like this or some added contrast. There we go. We make the eyes pop a little before, after. See that extra drama? Now let's talk something fun. A few videos ago, I shared with you how to create an action that retouches skin in under one minute. How about making it even faster? So first, let's open the actions panel. If you cannot see it, go to window and you want to make sure actions is checked. This is the action. Let's play it. It automatically does everything for you, creates a black mask, selects the brush with white as the foreground color, and then you have to take the time to paint over the skin and the skin is automatically retouched. How cool is that? But what if you even didn't have to do that? So let's go back, let's delete all of this, just play this action. Now we have a black mask, all we have to do is to select the new object selection tool, click on select people, click on her, and you wanna make sure you have the nose and the facial skin activated, both of them. Click on apply. 
Now you have a selection of everything. It did leave out little things here and there. Keep in mind, it's still in beta. With the mask selected and white as the foreground color, press Alt, Backspace or Option Delete to fill it. Control or Command D to deselect. Now it's not perfect. Let's select the brush again. But it's just one go. It's amazing. Now I can take away the excess areas by selecting black as the foreground color and then just erase it from areas like this, this or wherever it went wrong. Like the nose a little bit. There you go. Like this particular area. Like this little area. And you are good to go. How cool is that? Now, of course, we need to decrease the opacity. Let's keep it at about 72. And there we have a fast retouch for bulk processing. Here's the before and here is the after. If you want to learn how to create this action, you can watch this video right here. So that's everything new about the object selection tool. However, I still stick to my recommendation of not having beta apps on a production machine. If you're playing with it, trying new things, if you want to experiment, that's fine. If your computer is your daily bread and butter, I recommend being careful playing with beta and it's best not to install it. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope I could show you something new. And if I did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.